All right, so now let's uh, jump right in and look at lines. So a line in the xy plane is determined when a point on the line and the direction of the line, its slope or angle of inclination, are given. So all you need, yeah, all you need is a point and then the angle. Then you have a line. Uh, the equation of a line can be written using the point slope form, as we're uh, used to. Just um, yeah, here actually, yeah, let's just uh, draw this as uh, so a point slope form. Is basically if you have a line like this, y minus y one equals to m the slope x minus x one like that. And then if you were you had to graph this out like this, uh, this is x, this is the y. So then let's say you have a line and the point on it is going to be the coordinates x one and y1 and the slope right here is going to be our m like that all right so that's in two d's or uh, and yeah in two dimensions or the x y plane so now likewise a line in three dimensional space is determined when we know a point p uh p naught x x naught y naught z naught uh, on l and the direction of l so yeah if we have a line l in that so we, all we need to know is a point and the direction of it. And that brings us to the vector equation of a plane. So in three dimensions, the direction of a, of a line is conveniently described by a vector. So we let uh, V be a vector parallel to L. Yeah, so then the vector, yeah, it could represent the direction of it, and then we just need a point on it. So let P, X, Y, Z be an arbitrary point on L, and let R, uh, zero vector, R not vector, and r vector be the position vectors of p uh, p naught and p that is they have representations uh this is from the origin uh, this is uh, o p naught and o p vectors so that is uh yeah these are from the origin so if the vector a is a vector with representation p naught p as in the fi as in the below figure or as in the figure below like writing it this way uh, then the triangle law for vector addition gives r uh, vector equals r naught plus a. Uh, but since a and v, uh, I'll draw this all out. Uh, a and v are parallel vectors. There is a scalar t such that a such a such um, yeah such that a equals t v. So let's make sense of all of this. Yeah. So let's draw this out. Yeah. So let's say we had a point uh, p x, y, z to be an arbitrary point on line. And again, we're doing in 3D right now. So let's say we had like this. All right, yeah, so this is the z axis. So this is a bit neater. And this is the y axis. And this is the x axis like this. So we get a bit more 3D looking. Okay, so that's the x axis. So let's say we had a line, L. So this is our L. And let's say there's a point on this, and this is our P. So there's a point P on it, and this is, we'll call this P, X, Y, Z. All right, so now we have X, Y, Z, and arbitrary point on L, and let R naught and R be the position vectors of P naught and P. Yes, and uh, yeah, P naught is, uh, so this is R naught and R, uh, and we know that P naught is, again, it's just a line on L as well. So this is arbitrary point on L, and then there's the other one, our starting point. Let's say we had a point right here, and we'll call this over here P naught, and this is going to be X naught, Y naught, Z naught, like that. And then the, the direction vectors are, and this is the origin, so let's draw the origin. Oh, so the, the uh, representations are O, P naught, that's going to be our r naught vector. So in other words, it goes from uh, this origin all the way to here. This is going to be r naught, right? Just like that. So that's r naught. And then this one here is going to be our r. So this is going to be our r vector, like that. And this is from o to p, and this is from o to p naught. That's uh, these these right here. Now, if a is the vector with representation p naught p. Yes, yeah, so in other words, it goes from P naught to P, so that's going to be like this, like that. Yeah, but it's a bit hard to see, also. I'll draw this in red. So this is, draw this a bit better. This right here is going to be our A. All right, so this one here, I'll call this A vector. And that is from, uh, with the vector A, with the representation P naught to P. 
And then the triangle law for vector addition gives r equals to, uh, this is r plus uh, a. Yeah, so r equals r naught plus a. That's again, this is triangle law. So r naught plus a equals this r vector. And I'll just write this down here. R no, r vector equals to r naught plus a, like this. And then we're also told here, so let v be a vector parallel to l. So in other words, a, a v is a vector parallel to it. So let's draw this like, uh, just starting anywhere here. So it's parallel to this, parallel like that. And this call is, this is v. So that means if it's parallel to it, that means, well, it's going to be parallel. Uh, it's going to be just a, a scalar multiple of this a right here. Yeah, here, let's fix that up. I uh, just made it like that. So it's a scalar multiple. So in other words, a scalar t such, uh, yeah, times by a. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a scalar t such that a, this vector, is equal to a, a scalar multiplied by this v. So it could be double, it could be half the length, uh, whatever it is, as long as it's, well, parallel. And it's, it's the, yeah, just a scalar multiple, so hence it's parallel. parallel. So that means then, uh, so we have this, and a equals 2 uh, a t scalar times v. So then we could put this all together. r naught equals 2, I mean, r... Uh, vector equals to r naught vector plus t times a, a uh, yeah, times a scalar t a t scalar t times it by a parallel vector v of the two line. All right, uh, continuing further. So this above uh, equation. So the above equation is called uh, equation is called a vector equation of L. So each value of the parameter t gives the position vector r of a point on L. In other words, as t varies, as you change it, the line is traced out by the tip of the vector r. Yeah, so then as this vector here, this this, this vector goes along this uh, L, L line based on whatever the parameter t is. And in other words, as t varies, yeah, the line is traced out by the tip of the vector r. So as the figure below indicates, a, a positive values of t correspond to points on L that lie on one side of, of p naught, uh, where whereas negative values of t correspond to points that lie on the other side of p naught. Again, depends. So, for example, here let's graph this out. All right. So, all right. So we have right here. So move it over uh, like this. This is the z axis, and move it up. And this is the y. This is the x like that. So let's say we had our line L and and then we had, yeah, you know, there's their origin and then there's our point uh, right here. Let's say this is the, um, at t is equal to zero. Yes, yeah, so if you go back to our vector equations, if t equals zero, r naught is just equal to r. I mean, r is just equal to r naught vector. So let's point this out. This is at our uh, r uh, naught like that. And this is at t is equal to zero. And then if you, if t was, let's say, greater than, uh, yeah, greater than zero, uh, you're gonna have uh, vectors like this. This would be the r. This would be the r, et cetera. And this is again, that's our l. This is for, uh, this is for t is greater than zero. Likewise, uh, you'll have a going back like this if t is a scalar less than zero. So this is gonna be like this, start like this. This is for t is less than zero. Yeah, so yeah, these uh, values are all the uh, vector equation r. Let's put the r like that. And then, yes, it becomes r uh, just if, if, uh, fluctuates based on the value of t. And if t is equal to zero, it just becomes r naught, the starting point.